The late Professor Park, an eminent Korean scientist philosopher, is the originator of Sujok therapy. From childhood, he believed that thumb is head and in adult years built on this knowledge to create a unique system of healing that is used by doctors and consultants in hospitals. However, his main concern was for a simple method of treatment to be made available for use in the home to treat everyday complaints. Sujok are Korean words for hands and feet, su being hand and jok being foot. Through the professor's research and development work, we are able to treat various points on the hands and feet to effectively bring relief to many disorders without drugs or side effects and without needles. Please listen carefully to chapter one relating to use of the probe and the explanation of Arshi points to ensure correct application of treatment. Hello, I'm Marilyn Benson. I've been involved in complementary health over the past 20 years as a practitioner and as a qualified lecturer. My initial Sujok training began in India five years ago with Sujok master Ashok Kumar Kothari. I have also attended a number of seminars with the late Professor Park. This DVD is dedicated to the memory of Professor Park and his wish that Sujok be made available to everybody for use in the home as a self-healing treatment. This is the probe. This is one of the most important pieces of equipment in our Sujok kit. We use the probe first of all to roll the area and I am looking here at the area corresponding to the neck. To find any tender spots if we stop around here, this incidentally would be around about C4, and we use the probe perpendicularly to press the area to find any arshi points. Arshi points are ouch points. If we grade the pain level from 1 to 10, an arshi point would be around 8, 9, 10. Up to 7 are tender spots and we don't treat these spots. We're looking for the higher numbers, the 8, 9, 10 arshi. So if we find an arshi here, we mark it with a pen because we know we're going back to this area and we just work around to see if we find any more and we, ow, we have another one here. When you use the probe and you're pressing down to find the R she, if you press too hard every uh, pain spot will feel like a number 8, 9 or 10. So you must use the probe with a medium pressure so that you're able to determine which are tender spots and which are sharp, acute, pain-giving arshi points. You feel the pain in the thumb, not in the neck. Now, of course, not everybody has a probe in the home, but we can utilize a simple thing like a biro and just use the biro first of all to find the tender area and here we have a tender area we can then just use the end of the pen to seek out the ouch points of the R she and once again to mark them off and we will come back to this area to treat as determined in chapter one, uh, the probe is our first um, instrument that we're going to use when we're finding painful areas. 
If we're looking, for example, at the wrist here, we can just roll our probe over the area and find the tender points and we're then going to use the probe perpendicular to seek out the RSHI points. When we found our RSHI point here, particularly painful, an 8, 9 or a 10, we can massage the area, just circular rotations. It's quite painful to do this, don't press more than you can reasonably put up with. Massage the area for two to three minutes and the pain should start to diminish in the finger in that time but also the pain should start to diminish in the wrist. It's also a good idea to use the probe all around the joint to establish if there are any further arshi ouch points. And of course if we find any further ouch points then we have to mark them off ready for treatment and to go back and just use the probe to massage for two to three minutes or of course to take a seed and attach to the area. If there is still pain in the wrist and there's no significant easing of pain in the RSHI, then we have to go to our next method of treatment. But please do remember all medical conditions should be referred to a medical practitioner.